Dear ZBrush, I need y'all to fix this. All right, so we are in ZBrush Core Mini, and this is the free version of ZBrush. On the right-hand side, that is my reference image. So first of all, if we look at the reference, Paul DZ probably dropped in many subtools. He did not sculpt this from a sphere, as far as I'm aware. So he probably dropped in ears and a tongue, teeth, gums, eyeball, eyelids, everything separate. That really helps you block things out. In ZBrush Core Mini, that's simply non-existent. So in Core Mini, you have to start from a sphere, and when you end, it is literally still just a sphere that you've altered and, and sculpted on. And lots of people sculpt that way, but I don't think it's the best way to learn. I would prefer to block things out. It's a limitation of the software. My assumption is because it's free and they don't want to give you too much of a good thing, which I disagree with. Pixel logic. I really don't see the problem if we could have a handful of subtools in this software. I know you didn't ask me, but maybe you should have. That's reason number one. Subtools. Let us have subtools. So you'll notice that I start off with a base mesh. You can use it in Blender, Core Mini, ZBrush, whatever, but it's for free for you in the description below. So if that interests you, go check it out. Leave me a review. That'd be awesome. All right. The second thing. Working on the tongue here, I could not mask. So you can't mask in ZBrush Core Mini. Some of you hear that and it's like, alarm, alarm. I won't even try it if there's no masking. Well, I definitely agree with that. Uh, as you can tell, I pulled out the tongue and then I have zero ability to go in there and adjust that bottom lip or do any sculpting on it. And it, it can be a nightmare. So you have to plan your sculpts out to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, you're gonna screw up your mesh trying to get in there and do those details. The second thing is I think that ZBrush Core Mini needs to have masking. That should be a standard feature. And it's kind of embarrassing that that is not included. Last but not least, is the fact that ZBrush Core Mini, you cannot monetize, you cannot like sell anything you create in ZBrush Core Mini. I know that's a big bummer. I, I don't see what the problem is. Why can't you add these two features and then I would be okay with you keeping you can't sell what you create in Core Mini. I'd be okay with that. Uh, but as it is, it is so limited. Like if somebody wants to try to make a buck, maybe they're doing 3D prints or something and this is the software that they have access to, why not let them sell the their artwork that they created? I think that's a big disappointment. I get it that this whole thing is a marketing ploy. I think that is the heart behind it is let's release something free to give them a little tease of ZBrush. So they upgrade to ZBrush Core and then hopefully eventually ZBrush. I'm a big fan of ZBrush, but honestly, I would argue with anybody at Pixelogic that they say this is for the community, for them doing a good thing because ultimately it's incredibly limiting without having subtools, without having masking. Put those two things in and I would stand with your argument that this is for the community. Pixel logic, make a change, make it happen or not. I'm just a dude with a camera.